guys, welcome back to another episode of 12 Inch Figure Fanatics. Today we have a uh, figure from a company that I don't think I've bought from before. It's uh, SW Toys, and this is their Alice 3.0 figure. This is based on the Alice character from Resident Evil. The, the, the uh, outfit she's wearing is from the first film, uh, played by Mila Jovovich, of course. Definitely a hottie. Uh, let's crack this open and see what we have with this one. All right, so here's the figure. Um, pretty standard box. Nothing going on in the back even. Okay. Wow. All right. So it comes with a seamless body, which is much appreciated considering that she's uh, wearing such a skimpy outfit. You don't want to see a lot of those... Uh, those figure joints. Um, obviously they haven't fixed the issue with uh, there being a seam on the hands with the seamless bodies because you know you got to switch hands out until maybe they develop a, a better ability to have um, uh, flexibility to the hand and then they don't have to worry so much about switching out sculpted hands. Till that day. Uh, the figure looks pretty good. I like that I don't know if it's it's a special sculpt for the figure, but it, it it it's in keeping with how I remember Mila's figure to be. She's got, um, you know, her leg her her thighs aren't too meaty; they're not too skinny. This is about perfect. Um, pretty much the same thing with the arms. Uh, the shoes are sculpted; they're not uh, leather-like material, um, and they don't bend. So there's no flex to them, which I don't know, you may be for or against because you may have some unique posing desires that uh, won't correspond to the uh, inflexibility. But uh, the dress is uh, a, a very uh, thin material, but in keeping with the material and style of the, the, the costume in the film. And the dress underneath, good maroon color, same as the... Uh, um, as the one in the film. Uh, oh, okay. So, I don't know. Maybe YouTube won't like that, but I'll show you anyway. Um, this one has some sculpted genitalia. I don't think I've, I'm not familiar with that. That's, that's new to me. So, I, you know, I'm sure she wore panties in the film, but they, just, they chose to leave them out for this figure. Um, as far as the the top of the dress goes, the sp spaghetti straps seem a little delicate, but they're holding up pretty well. Um, there's this stitching on the back here that is not doing so well. And, okay, so efforts to tuck are proving difficult. I'll fix that later. Now the head sculpt itself, uh, you can definitely tell it's her. No problems there. My only issue is, um, well, my, my main issue is, is the sculpt and the painting of the hair. It looks a little generic. If anything, I would have rather they used um, stitched hair if they were gonna do something that sloppy. Um, yeah, but I mean, the style, the style is appropriate. I, I will give them that much. This is the style of hair that she had in the film. Um, I just would have preferred maybe a little bit more detail in that. Um, the eyes are kind of glaring, um, but it looks good overall. I like that. So let's see what else she comes with. All right, we've got the leather jacket. And that zips. It's got a stitched interior to it. And I don't know how this, I know some some leather-like materials um, like this that have come with figures, they tend to age over the years and start cracking and, and flaking. And I'm hoping this is not gonna be one of those materials, but it just might be. Other than that, you've got two guns and let's see, just, yep, magazines do slide. They're a little, little tough at first. Um, Good detailing there. And then magazines come out, yep. Magazine comes out. They don't, they don't have the 
round painted. That's kind of unusual. Um, these days you see most of them paint the rounds. So they cut a little corner there. Let's see if this one's the same way. Maybe it's just a, an error. Nope. They didn't paint the rounds. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. And you've got a few sets of hands here. So a lot of options for hands. And let's see. That's, is that it? Is that it? No, because it also came on the side with this box. And I was kind of confused at first. I was like, did I order something else in addition to the figure? But I think they just decided to throw this in at the last minute and um, kind of maybe to sell a few more of the figures. And um, it wasn't in the original box. I would have preferred it all stay together. Um, but yeah, I get the impression it was something they did at the last minute as a bonus. But uh, yeah, so here's the uh, zombie dog. And um, it's got a good sculpt to it, I guess. Uh, what's lacking is on the, on the paint job with, well, the dog itself, yes, but because um, it's all pretty much just a f one flat color. There's really no variation in the in the coat, no texturing um, with the paint. Um, but they also just, it looks like they just kind of poured red over the uh, open wound areas and that's it. When, you know, there's a lot more potential variation in color, maybe some some violet tones or some, uh, some maybe some heavy gloss in some areas. Um, yeah, so they just kind of um, sped through it, it looked like, just to get this thing out. Not much variation there. But it's a nice accessory to have. It'll go nicely with the figure. And um, let's see, scale of one to 10. Um, I'm gonna give this figure a 8.7. I mean, it didn't, it didn't wow me. The, the head sculpt itself is appropriate enough, but it didn't wow me. Um, I like the outfit and um, the uh, addition of the genitalia, I mean, I don't even know, okay, fine. And then the accessories are okay. Uh, it's a pretty basic figure. I think I paid uh, over 200 something for it though. Um, I appreciate that it has a seamless body. I'm gonna give it an 8.7. It, it just, it didn't, nothing really popped at me. And, and the dog kinda, kinda dragged it down a bit too, just because it's kind of a, I don't know, just kind of a cheap looking thing. Um, but uh, thanks for tuning in, and I promise my next video is going to be my uh, tour of my collection on display. Um, I know I've been putting it off, but uh, some fine-tuning of details on that. Thanks. See you next time.